I think that Austin is an amazing place for creative people and it's just where I see it all around me all the time like um, on murals and graffiti and everything and it's pretty inspiring to like you know then living in like a small town and not having like the you know experience and the you know I don't know I just feel like that it's more like encouraging to live in a place where art is kind of like the normal anyone could really do it and it's pretty like a not really mysterious but it's kind of like a scandalous type of art which is really it's really cool and it can like it just brings more of a life kind of to you know just streets and everything um i started painting for my kids and friends and I just kind of fell in love with it. I've always loved art and I've always dabbled in it. Um, but once I had kids and I started to kind of see that this was something that I could fit into my world a little more, um, I decided that to make kind of that big life change and uh, pursue it professionally. I'm inspired by just sort of, I don't know, the city around me really is pretty inspirational in my, and, um, my family's from New Orleans, and so I'm used to a very, you know, kind of vibrant community there. Austin has a very uh, similar, you know, kind of fun and funky vibe, and I, I, you know, my artwork I think reflects that a lot. Um, I try to do things that are kind of whimsical and bright and fun. Um, you know, something that just sort of brings, brings joy to this world, I guess. And um, yeah, Austin is a really good city for that. You know, there's people that are looking, you know, everyone, everyone that I paint for is often like, oh, I want some of that Keep Austin Weird kind of vibe, which is, makes it really fun for me. Um, I'm definitely inspired by a lot of fashion and other women artists, I would say. Um, I'm intrigued by powerful and strong women that are following their passion, and I definitely like to um, actually paint people that I know too in Austin. I think ever since I was a kid I just always felt like I was an artist. I felt like it was a part of me so it wasn't necessarily a matter of choosing a profession. I just always associated myself with being an artist I guess. My artwork is very feminine and I guess I always think about um, I often think about all those hidden thoughts behind, uh, you know, our, our faces and what everyone's hiding, and um, I guess the the multiple selves that we possess, and all of us have an outer self, but you know, we also have inner selves that we hide, and so I guess I always try to get, especially if I'm painting someone that I know, then I try to dig deep into their story. I've been building sculptures in my backyard ever since I was a kid. So uh, when I moved here in 89, I just started building some sculptures. But it just was a grouping of sculptures to start off with. Um, after a little while, a few years, they kind of grew together. And when that happened, people started asking me, what do you call that? I honestly didn't know what to tell them. I called it Yard Space 11 to start off with. But that didn't make any sense to anybody. My mom was the one that first started calling it the Cathedral of Junk, and then that stuck like glue and it kind of got a life of its own. Uh, but when I first started the Cathedral, people kept saying, oh, this is really Austin, this is really Austin. And I was like, well, I don't even know what that means exactly, you know? And then they came up with that Keep Austin Weird, and I'm like, well, okay. Uh, I guess I kind of realize now what it kind of means. I think it's weird to the rest of the world that in Austin everybody kind of gets along and there's all these different kinds of people. I'm just having fun. So if you're playing and having fun, you're not really too worried about making mistakes. And so sometimes then you have those happy mistakes where you're like, oh wow, that's cool. You know, it's discovery. Creativity is the process of discovering something, and you just dive into it, like, you know, like finger paints, like, you know, see what happens.